Hello, welcome to Mind Your Own Business to the Five to Thrive training series where we're talking about the five steps, the five skill sets to become a professional network marketer. I'm your host, Dr. Erin, your high performance coach and the success psychologist. It sounds so fancy when I say that, doesn't it? It's really not, I'm never, not that fancy. I'm just really excited to be sharing with you today the second step. So last week we talked about the first step, which is having conversations with the humans. And this step, Eric Worre, one of the greatest network marketing professional trainers has said, has said is the most important step of all five steps. So let's nail this step. And the step is invitation. So once we talk to the humans, we're second, we're gonna invite them. So I wanna um, give you some context here of how to think about things. So my job, my greatest wish for you is that you will learn how to think and not what to say. I'm gonna say that again. To become a master at your profession, to become a professional, you wanna know how to think about things, not just what to say. Many of us have tried for many, many years of using scripts and trying to memorize scripts and can you just tell me the script and sometimes the script felt like us and sometimes it felt like that is a different language I would never ever say those words and guess what when we're out of alignment with scripts that don't feel like us they don't work. So I want to teach you how to think about things so that you can know not what to say but how to be how to think so really exciting. So I'm going to talk about the psychology of the invitation, the three secrets to mastering the invite, and all the steps you need for a masterful invite. And I will give you a couple scripts that you can work from. Okay. So first and foremost, do you know the number one reason why people will join your business? If you know the answer, put it in the chat room. You know the number one reason why people will join you? It's actually the same as the number one reason why people will not join you. I mean, it's same, two sides of the same coin. You're right, you're right, everybody. The number one reason, reason people will join you is you asked them, you asked them. The number one reason people will not join you is you never asked them. <laughs> okay, so we must, Master the invitation. Now, what are we inviting them to? We might be inviting them to try our product. We might be inviting them to accept a sample in the mail. We might be inviting them to watch a tool. We might be inviting them to attend an event, either online or offline. We might be inviting them to take a look at a business opportunity and how they can create an additional stream of income. And last, we may be inviting them for a referral to refer a friend who also could use our incredible product or might want to um, look at our opportunity. So again, we're inviting them to all these things. We're inviting them to take a look, okay? So Here's what we want to think about. The psychology of human beings is most humans want to be open. Most of us humans want to think of ourselves as people who are open. We're open to learning. We're open to new knowledge. We're open to new opportunities. We're open. We're not closed people. I've rarely met a person that wants to be closed. They, people want to be open. And so write down that word open. I want you to divorce yourself of using the word, are you interested? And instead, I want us to become really, really stealth at saying instead, are you open? The reason is psychologically, when we ask someone, are you interested in taking a look at this? One, the person's like, um, I didn't even know this existed two seconds ago before you told me about it. No, I'm not interested. Um, might not be interested for lots and lots of reasons. But also the word itself kind of sets the other human up without, to no, to no fault of their own, um, sets them up to be discern, having to have discernment, having to 
give you feedback, having to be critical because humans actually don't want to be an easy sell. So we want to buy, but we don't want to be sold to. And when we buy, we don't want to be an easy sell. We like to come across as smart or people that at least do their research or people that actually think things through, right? So just the whole psychology of the setup of, are you interested? Was that, inter you know, no, I'm not interested. Are you open? Would you be open? Is a whole different story. So generally speaking, let's fall in love with the word open. Here are the three secrets to a masterful invite. The first, I write this down, is set your intention. What do I mean by this? You're gonna see as you use the scripts differently for every human. First of all, you wanna set your intention on the person that you're reaching out to. And what do I mean by that? What do you know about them? What do you know that's unique about their situation that is going to go into your invitation. I want you to set your intention by perhaps writing it all out before you do it and actually practicing it. That you, you only kind of get this one shot of doing a masterful invitation. There's gonna be lots of follow-up, but you actually can say the wrong thing to the right person. I fully believe. And so you want to really set your intention because you're going to see that the components of a masterful invitation are personalized. And last, I want you to set the intention or I encourage you to practice setting the intention with your energy. And I'll teach you how to do that as well as your heart and what your intention is. And it's to serve because I know all of you here and that's your intention. So before I make any invitation, I actually... Um, often close my eyes, put my hand over my heart, and I set an intention. I'm about to reach out to Kelly Rush, and I just adore her, and I love her energy, and this is what I know about her, and this is what I'm going to say. And my intention is to serve her, and whether that falls on deaf ears or not is not up to me. But my intention is to serve her and to offer her something. Also, you want to set your intention, and you want to raise up your energy one notch. You do not need to be my level of energy. You don't need to be a comic, a clown, circus level, you know, act of energy, but you should raise it up just one notch. And something that physically really helps this, um, emotion flows where physiology goes. Emotions flow where physiology goes. And what I mean by that is you could actually practice the um, Wonder Woman power stance, which is this. And it will give you power and confidence that will tell your brain, oh, I guess we're powerful. Before you make the call, you set the intention. Here I go. You put a smile on your face. I mean, this stuff is going to feel weird when you are doing it and you're going to be just amazing. And you're going to laugh and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, if they could see me now. It's actually a treatment in psychology. It's called the half smile. It's for chronic mood disorders. It's very, it's smiling, half, a half smile. It's actually one of the top treatments for bipolar disorder, for God's sake. It literally is impossible almost to smile and be in a negative emotional state. Okay. So I actually, if you're making a call, I want you to smile. People can hear your smile. People can hear your smile and you know it's true and belief has a sound. So do you see what we need to be doing here all before we even send the invitation? So number one, set your intention. Number two, make the invitation. I'm going to walk you through a great, great model for the invitation. So here we go. Okay, there's a lot of psychology to this, but write this down because we're going to have one of you practice this, one or two or three of you, and I've got prizes. So I want you to write this down so you're going to kind of craft your invitation. I want you to get right to the point. And this is how I usually start this line right here. The reason I'm reaching out is, or the reason I'm calling is, or the reason I'm messaging you is, okay, you start there. The reason is that tells the prospect, we're not chit chatting. We can do that at a different time. Okay. She's on a mission here. We've got a mission. Like it, the reason I'm calling is. 
So that's number one, kind of, there's six parts to an invitation. So that's number one, kind of get right to the point. Just the reason I'm calling is. Number two, spark some curiosity. Something exciting has come across my desk or something exciting has happened to Garth and I this last year. A year ago, I said something really exciting has come into our lives and it's gonna be the biggest thing we ever do. Well, that's exciting. There's some curiosity, like Dr. Aaron's done some big things. What the heck could this be? Or, huh, I wonder what Linda's excited about. That's so interesting, okay? Number three, insert a genuine compliment. This is why, this is where you're gonna be nimble and you're gonna be personalizing things. You know, I thought of you because, and then insert a compliment. I thought of you because. I thought of you, be, I thought of you, Janice, because you're, you know, you really value your health. Or I thought of you, Lisa, because my God, if someone is a consummate professional, it's you. You know, like they're, okay. So let's go one through three and then we'll go through four through six. One, get right to the point. The reason I'm calling is, and then you just insert number two, something really exciting has come across my desk or come into our life. I've come across something really exciting. And I thought of you because. <clears throat> number four is not something we're saying. It's just how we're being. It's a reminder. You're speaking with confidence and certainty. Actually, it is something you say. So the next thing you could say, if you wanted to follow the script, is something like, I think this is something you definitely will want to look at. I think you definitely will want to check this out. Not, I think you might want to check this out, or this might be something you're kind of interested in. I might even say, Joby, this has your name all over it, right? That's pretty confident. Now, number five, you're going to take it back and you're going to say, you're going to kind of make a, a way out for them, but more it's the psychology of you're not attached to the income and it's going to show that the prospect, you have so much pro posture and confidence. You're going to say something like, you know, Joby, I have no idea if you're going to get as excited as me. You're just going to say, I just, I, and this is all I did you guys this last year. I have no idea if this will excite you. Like it has us and you need to check this out. Last, you're going to leave and end with a question, a call to action. And it could sound something like this. How soon can you carve out 10 minutes? We can hop on the phone. How soon can you carve out 10 minutes and we can hop on the phone? Now, there is power in ending with a question because conversationally, it means tag your it. There is a call to action. There's not, so let me know if you're interested. No, 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 no. We're never gonna say that again. We're always gonna end with a call to action, which is just the next step. Would it be all right if I sent you that video right now? That would be a call to action, right? Okay, so let's go back a second. I told you the three secrets to a masterful invite and I just snuck the third one in. So the first was you're setting your intention, physically, emotionally, you're writing out your script, you're thinking this through. Number two was you make the actual invitation. So number one, set intention. Two, make the invitation. Number three was end with a question end with call to action. Those are really the three secrets to a masterful invitation. And now you know them. Okay. So this is what I want you to understand in network marketing. Systems duplicate, but people don't have to. Scripts and I, the way to think about things duplicates, but scripts don't have to. Systems duplicate. So I just shared with you the system of start with curiosity. So um, start with um, getting straight to the point. The reason I'm calling, give curiosity. I'm so excited. Insert the compliment. I thought of you because speak with confidence and clarity. You need, I really think, I thought of you and I really think you should definitely take a look at this. Make a, make a way for, I'm not attached to the outcome. I have no idea if you'll be interested in this and ask for the next step. When can you carve out 10, when's the, when's the, um, how soon can you carve out 10 minutes? That 
is what needs to be duplicated. How exactly you say it doesn't. I want to teach you how to think, not what to say. Okay, we remember this, right? Yes, okay. You do not have to be Joby or Dr. Aaron or Cindy. You need to be you. And if you're not you, you're gonna be weird. And hashtag don't be weird. Let's just get hats, t-shirts, don't be weird. Like the reason where this gets complicated is you have forgotten just to be you. The, the, when people say be authentic, it means use words you would use. If Janice would never use the word girl, girl, you have got to see this. Janice, do not ever say girl, you've got to see this. Like people will be like, what Kool-Aid did she drink? What was the flavor? How much has she drunk? Like I, you will lose all credibility. So I think that's what I wanted to share with you, but um, I'm going to end the recording there master the invitation and your business will explode. It's step two. The first was talk to these humans. The second is we're going to invite them to something. Love you all. See you next time.